In this video, I will show you how to create your own online music store using WebStarts. To get started, go to webstarts.com and click on Get Started, it's free. Next, choose the design that you would like to begin using for your website. For this example, I'm going to click on the music category and I'm going to choose this music store design. Next, enter your name email address and choose a password. Check to verify that you're a real person and then click sign up. Now it's time to choose a web address for your website. You can choose to use your own .com, .net, .org or other top level domain name. But please note, if you choose that route, you'll need to upgrade to a paid plan. If you'd like to just continue using the free version of Web Starts, then go ahead and choose a web address that is a .webstarts.com address. So for example, I'm going to say musicstoredemo.webstarts.com and then click continue. This welcome video will pop up. If you haven't already watched that, I recommend you watch that. It covers some of the basic things that you need to know for using Web Starts and particularly the Web Starts page editor. But for now, I'm just going to close that out. Here you can see a thumbnail of my site. And when I hover over that, there's a button that says Edit Site. I'm going to click on that to begin editing my Music Store website. This opens up the Web Starts page editor and from there you can click on any element on your page in order to edit or move it or resize it. So I'm going to begin by changing my artist name. Just going to double click inside that text box which appears in the header. I'm just going to type my name because I'm going to make it my album and then the name of the album I'm just going to change to be my greatest hits somewhat generic here and then to swap out this photo I'm going to double click on it and then I can go ahead and click upload and then upload a photo from my local computer let's see if I can find a good one I'm going to upload this photo of myself. It's not a great photo. You could use whatever photo you want. I'm going to use this one here so you can see my greatest hits. I have this link that goes to my downloadable album. It's going to save my changes. And then I'm going to work on my music store itself, which is on a page that I named Download Music. Here you have the music store widget on the page. And what you can do is just double click on that and it will open up the music store. From here you'll add your first album. So I'm going to say my greatest hits. Actually, I'm going to take off my cap locks. Then you're going to choose a genre. You can add an album cover art. I'm just going to choose the photo that I already used and then enter a price for your entire album. You can enter a description for the album and then click save album when you're done. Now I'm going to add songs to that album. So I click add song and I begin by adding a music file, you can upload one from your local computer. I've already uploaded a couple, so I'm just going to select this one called Light Over the Hill and enter that as my title. Again, my artist is pre-populated with my own information. I choose the genre for that particular song, and then I'm going to enter my per song price. So I'm actually going to make that 99 cents. I'm going to click Save. And then that song is added to my album. 
So if you want to add another song, then you'd click add song again and go through that process again. And you'd keep doing that for each song that you would like to add to your album. If you want to edit your album settings, you can click on settings. That'll take you back to where we created the things like the album, image, cover art, name, title, so on and so forth. Something super important to remember for your store is to click on the payment tab and then enter a valid payment email address or PayPal email address. When you do that, click apply. Also enter a notification email address. That's where you'll be notified when you make a store. You can view some of your statistics about how frequently your songs were played, shared, downloaded, or purchased under the statistics tab. I'm going to go back to the album tab. I'm ready to add this album or update this album on my page. So I just click update. And now my album is updated. People can purchase my music now by going to this page and they can buy the whole album by clicking here where it says $9.99 or they can download individual songs. If I want to change any of that, I can just go back to my editor, click on my music store widget, then click the settings cog and then I can do things like enable and disable the cover image. I can choose the type of image scaling I want. I can choose the skin on my player, so there's a few different textures and so on. So let me show you what that looks like. If I choose, for example, light wood, then my player will be light wood in color. So those are just a few of the effects. I can choose my player and make it either shiny or I can make it uh, flat in color. I like the flat version and then I can choose my button color. And then down here I can enable things like autoplay, repeat, and I can do, um, I can make the music either shareable and download. If I click shareable, then you'll see the little icons of Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr up here in the top right. And if I click downloadable, then you'll see that my songs will be able to be downloaded. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free online music store and see more helpful videos like this.